Hello and welcome people. This is your host Stray and in today's story we will understand the basics of Figma in a series section. So let's not waste the time and directly jump to part number 1. In part number 1, first we'll understand the navigation toolbar which provides the the tons of functionalities. In the navigation toolbar, you can probably see shape tools, hand tool, text tool and a different region tools and so on. So let's first understand each of them from the basics. And the very first part and the most important is the frame. In the region tool drop down, once you click it, you can see the frame and slice option. Slice is not that important, but frame is the one which you will work on your daily basis. So once you select the frame, we can click on to the canvas position. A frame has been created on the canvas. This is called a frame. Frame is basically an interface or or let's say a screen for which you are creating a design every frame you have created you you can view on the canvas section you can create multiple frames in a single canvas by copy by copy and paste in windows as well as mac systems this is about the single frame and the section you can even create the frame using a shortcut keys that is by pressing f and by clicking the mouse on the canvas your frame is created on the canvas section so inside the region drop down tool you can select the frame and you can also see the shortcut telling f as the keyboard key to add the frame on your canvas that's all about the frame okay once we understand and how to create the frame the next part is to how to add the shapes and elements in the frame for example a frame can be a desktop application So in a desktop application we definitely need a hero banner as well as some of the hero image or button and so on. So these all are the components or let's say shapes of the frame. How to add the shapes of the frame? Here comes the second property of the navigation bar. If you click on the shape tools, you are selecting a particular shape which Figma provides you. Figma actually provides you four to five different kinds of shapes. Although you can create different kind of shapes which will be cover on a later series. If I choose rectangle, line, arrow, or ellipse, I can create that shape on that on that canvas screen or on our frame. Let's say if I choose rectangle, then by again clicking the mouse or the right mouse or left right mouse on the canvas, I can create the rectangle on the frame. I can even create a rectangle outside the frame. There is no constraint of creating shapes only inside the frame. If I create a frame, sorry, a shape inside a frame. we can even increase the width and height of that particular shape in a case it's a rectangle so i can increase the width and height of my rectangle i can add multiple shapes within a single frame for example let me add a circle let me also add a rectangle and let me also add a polygon which can be triangle in this case so we can add multiple shapes we can increase the width and height of each shapes accordingly in a single frame that's all about the shape tools which figma provides okay once we add multiple shapes in the frame the next tool which figma provides is the text tool it's the most basic tool which will used in most of the cases let me create another frame and let me show you how to add the text if i choose the text on the navigation bar i can select i have selected the text part and i can add the text in the frame how to add again choose the text part or the t icon by clicking it and clicking back on the cursor you can add the text on the frame or you can even similarly you can add the text outside the frame there is no constraint of adding text only inside the frame you can move it outside inside the frame as well as you can change the designs of the text for example over here in the right side bar of the text section i can choose what particular text library i want to work with and what font style i want to give it to the text italic or regular every font styles or family sorry you have choose provides you a font style and for example light regular in this case we can even add the most basic fonts family and once we select it we can choose multiple options italic to black to extra bold to bold to semi bold and so on we can even increase the line height from this section as well as we can even increase the font size of the text from the drop down menu we can even enter the particular pixels or 
the size of the text okay so the next tool we call as a move tool inside a navigation drop down move tool section we can see two types of move tools one is a scale and one is a move also you can view the keyboard shortcut keys such as v and k so i'll show you then use case of it let's say we have a frame and inside a frame we have a rectangle definitely we want to move the rectangle around to any of the particular position then by pressing up v we are able to select the frame or the shapes we want to work with again the shortcuts are mentioned in the drop down sections as well as if you want to increase the width and height although we can do it by moving around the corners and then you can move the cursor by right clicking the mouse back also you can use the scale section which will helps you to scale down the entire section of selected shapes of frame in a uniform scale you can do it in a non uniform manner as well as you can do it in a uniform manner so that's the basic application of the move tools okay so the next and the last sections of this design tool is the hand tool as well as the comment section in our case hand tool is not too important or frequently been used but it's good to know the application of this tool provided by figma hand tool helps you to zoom in and zoom out in the canvas as well as to move around the canvas in left and right direction that's the most basic use of hand tool and the next tool is the comment tool comment tool is very important to organize and to bring all the designer on the same page as well as to provide the feedback on any particular design for example if i create a rectangle and i give it a bluish background color and one of the designers or let's say your client doesn't like the bluish background color definitely he wants to give a feedback on it so he can go to the comment section and he can add a comment saying that hey i think it should not have a blue ish background color and once he click the post button the comment has been posted so as soon as you land up into the designs you can see and read and view the comments and if you are done with the comments by changing the color you can click the right side bar to remove the comments in this way all the designers as well as the clients who are working in design systems are on the same platform so this is also a very helpful feature in order to bring all of the product managers designers and developers on the same page that's all about the comment and hand tool